Hey everybody, welcome to RVT. This is RVT Rashid's video to bring in Jackson with um, JC Rashid Music Box Center. And I'm Rashid Omey coming on our social media, Google Plus, YouTube, and other social media platforms, Instagram. I gotta add Instagram in there. I'm on a, I'm in a, um, a weird fucking, um, mood. I don't know, I'm just in a weird mood. And it's like, I'm in a mood like, that movie The Fly with Jeff Goldblum when that when he had that prostitute in the bedroom with him on that scene on the fly with Jeff and the prostitute start massaging his shoulders and the way he his face expressions and his body then all of a sudden he just okay come on you gotta leave you know I'm in one of those kind of moves I don't know why I'm just I just feel like that right now. I just, I'm not feeling it, dude. I'm just, I don't know. I just feel eerie and shit. I just, I just feel eerie. Maybe I need some kind of fucking medication. I don't know. Zoloft or some shit. I don't fucking know. I need some kind of fucking, uh, Clearerex or some old fucking, uh, prescription shit people use. I don't know. Maybe I need some of that. I don't know. I ain't going to no fucking shrink to find out either. But I'm just saying, I just feel emotionally fucked up, crumpled and shit. And and my people, I I was starting to, I was going to have a, see, our um, service is tomorrow. Our service is tomorrow. And we have it on Saturday. Di some Different times on Saturday. Uh, and, uh... I don't know. Our service was tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow. But we was. But the point is, we was going to have it today because I feel this way. So I told them, "No, nah, we're going to just stay on schedule." Just because Daddy felt fucked up, that doesn't mean we gotta switch things around. I'll do. It. It's probably some middle age bullshit, hormone, uh, hormones and some shit, midlife crow, hot clap flashes and shit. I'm forty seven, dude, you know, you know, hot flashes and and shit like cold flashes, the um menopause thing. I might be going through that midnight crisis shit, so you know. I just wanted to come on the air and vent. Cause that's what you guys for. And y'all don't like me and everything. I might as well use y'all for that and shit, so why not? Why not be? I mean, I'm I'm the one. I'm, why not like me? I'm the one making y'all doctors and shit. I know we got subscribers, sweetie, but you know, you know what I'm saying. God bless my um. Thirty. How much? How many subscribers do I have anyway? I don't even fucking know. Hold on for me. I'm going to find out now. I don't even know how many subscribers I have. I really don't know. I'm. Well, um, I know it's over 2 million on Google. I know that. But on YouTube, I don't know. Well, it's, well, now I'm talking views. It's over 2 million. Subscribers is over 6. I don't know. I don't even pay attention to this shit. I don't even give a Wait a minute. My thing is running really slow. I just want to find out how many subscribers I have on YouTube. I think it's like 50. Not even 50. I forgot. This thing stuck. It's not moving. I'm trying to go over there. All right, here we go. It's moving now. I don't even know how many subscribers I have. I don't even fucking know, man. It's taking its time. It still ain't go over yet. Fucking in and that hot spot bullshit. I can't fucking stand this hot spot. Wifey fucking wasted time shit. I can't stand it. Hot my fucking ass. I don't know. It's just you it gotta still gotta wait, dude. I'm glad hang out with me for for a while, okay? Y'all hang out with me for a while. Let's do some talking. There's some crazy shit going on, man. You know what I mean? I wanna talk about it. You know, I wanna talk about it around here. Hey, sweetheart, she know who I'm talking about. Wait, let me find out. I'm going to dress your ass one second. 
talk about a YouTuber. Just wait a minute. I just got something to fucking say to her. Wait a minute. I I can't do it right now. I just I just wanna I wanna um. So she she she's fifty three subscribers. I got fifty three subscribers. I didn't even know I had 50, over 50 subscribers. I'm going to take care of all of them. You watch. I swear to God, if God, if Jesus Christ walked on water, dude, anybody subscribe to me going to catch it. Cause, because that's my, I really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. Nobody going to give a fuck about me, dude. And I, I'm being totally honest. I really appreciate these people subscribing to me. I'm going to take care of the ass. You know my shit going to come in. And y'all know it is. And I, all y'all going to be with me. I swear to God. All my subscribers going to be with me. I swear. The only way they not going to be with me. If they say Rashid I don't want to be with you. I subscribe to you because I like you or whatever. And that's it. That's the only way I'm going to leave them the fuck alone dude. Because I could be one irritating son of a bitch to a person. I can't. All my subscribers coming with me, dude. Every fucking one of them. All through my my whole career. And I'm going to say these people was with me when, I, when people was shitting in my fucking face. I swear to God. I'm going to take care of all my subscribers. So, I have 53 fucking subscribers. And those 53 subscribers right there, I look at, I'm holding in my palm of my hand like they just gems and shit. A rarity. Every fucking one of them, man. I will not forget this. I will not forget it. And the people that can't subscribe to me, I understand. Don't worry about it. And uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And that's it. But getting back to this YouTube girl. You know what, sweetheart? That That's unfair. Okay? That's unfair. And you know what I'm talking about. That's unfair. You know, you got a loving family. And she, you come, I see you come from a loving family. But that's some unfair shit you pull. I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. That's not how you do business. You don't, and you don't tell nobody... Um, Tell me what you like and, and, and comment under me. That's some crazy ass shit. I don't, that's some unfair shit. You know these motherfuckers scared of me from here to Jesus. So I don't even know why you pour some shit like that. But that's okay. You go ahead with your shit. I get what you're saying. Go ahead with your shit, sweetie. Go ahead with your shit. Because we in the schoolyard and you just show me you got all this candy in your pocket. Go ahead with your shit, sweetie. All right? Have fun. That's all I got. That's some unfair shit. She know she know what I'm she know what I'm talking about. Showing me all this candy in the schoolyard and walking away and you know damn well these motherfuckers scared of me, dude. They ain't gonna come out and say a fucking thing, dude. Don't even try it. This YouTuber, I ain't gonna say her name. Cause I ain't gonna I ain't gonna even start no fucking shit, dude. She say, she say, your views already going down. <laughs> I ain't laugh, baby. I'm not laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you, sweetheart. I'm not laughing at you. But your views already going down. So, I mean, I don't know why you ain't going to say my name. You scared you going to say my name and your views going down? Shit, your views already going down. You got the million subscribers, over a million, of course, but... Your views took a spike. I mean, so you you say not, not gonna say my name because you think you man that shit. <sighs> I don't, you know. Well, that's all I got to say about you. That's some unfair shit. I don't know how you come up with some shit like that. That's unfair. That's completely unfair. But you do your thing, sweetie. You go ahead and do your. I know what you're saying. You go ahead and enjoy your mother. I don't like people, so I don't give a fuck. You like people. I don't. I don't give a fuck about them. I'm a man. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I give a fuck about what I can do and making people happy. When I say making people happy, I'm talking about people who like Rashid. You see, I give a fuck about stuff like that. I don't give. I don't, I'm not no fucking 
Hollywood carpet celebrity and shit. I ain't got to like a motherfucker. Only thing I got to do is be my, do who I am and die. That's it. Let me see. Stop laughing. Y'all stop laughing. This shit ain't funny. You know what I'm saying? For minorities and shit. If you don't look like a certain way, you ain't going no fuck away anyway. You know that, sweetie. So why are you even faking like, you know, if you don't look, you ain't got the certain look in this world, you ain't going but so fucking far any damn way. You might as well be yourself. I'm going with no man. Has, we we around here are going with no man has ever gone before, dude. That's what we going at. We ain't going to that fucking basic ass shit. But that's some unfair ass shit. That's for the God. I don't even know why I'm fucking with you. I don't even. Well, I do, but. It ain't that feel sorry for bullshit you was talking. I don't know where you got that from. And if it was, it wasn't sympathy and feeling sorry for somebody. It's two different things. So it wasn't sympathy. You should have been satisfied with that. And all these girls on these YouTube videos that signal me. They signal me off and on. They stop. Some of them stopped and shit. Some of them stopped. Some of them, some of them gave up. Some of them keep going. And, um... This one chick on here, she's real strong with it. She's real powerful with it. So I figure I'll just test her. I'm going to test your waters out. I'm going to see where you're coming from. I'm going to just see where the fuck you're coming from, sweetie. Because, um, you know, you, you ain't going to stop it. Yes, I'm saying. She ain't going to stop, dude. I don't give a fuck what I do. She ain't going to stop. So I'm going to test your fucking waters. I'm going to just see where the fuck you're coming from. You probably full of shit like everybody else. Now I'm in that scene in Platoon and shit. I'm looking at that fucking gook and shit. Probably want to fuck up. I'm just looking at you like that. And you probably full of shit like everybody else. I'm going to test your fucking ass out and see where you're coming from. Because all these people around here saying, you know, I'm friendly and all. They just full of crap. Full of fucking bullshit. Lying ass. Voodoo crazy ass motherfuckers, dude. And they let me know that they crazy. They ain't gonna let the audience know. They gonna signal me, tell me that they crazy, dude. And I have um plenty. I know plenty of popular YouTubers that done that to me. And if these people knew it, they'll lose their fucking mind, man. But that's all right. Uh, you know, I'm. Not, they know I ain't. Gonna, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They know I ain't gonna say anything. I don't do that. I'm going to test out. I'm going to see where she coming from. Money change people, you know. Don't even try that shit. Money change people. Don't even fucking try it. Saying a happy birthday. That bitch look like she wanted to bust out in tears, dude. Stupid shit. You know, I ain't talking about her or nothing like that, but they sing a happy birthday to her, and her face look like she want to just bust out in tears, man. Hey, that shit is not funny, and that bitch, I, I know that bitch on YouTube, she better not be fucking laughing, because that shit is not funny. But they'll sing a happy birthday, and this bitch look like she want to bust out in tears. That's all I got to say about it. You can read, I'm going to read, I read face expressions to the core. That's just something I do and shit. That's just something I do. And, you know, and that bitch look like she went to bust out in tears, man. I ain't gonna shit you about that. I was dealing with some YouTubers, um, a long time ago. Uh, and they walked away from me because some stupid shit. It's so all because of stupid shit. Dumb ass shit. He walked away from me, dude. And he, I know they listening right now. And they shocked and all this other shit. I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. That's they lost. They ain't had to do that shit. If they would have just stayed with me, hey, you know. I know I'm not even going to worry. I'm not even going to feed into that. Yeah. 
I'm really not gonna do it. So, but it's just some, it's just some nonchalant bullshit. It's just some stupid shit, you know. And um, quiet down, girl. Please, I'm gonna close that fucking. I should have closed that door. Should have closed that door, man. I gotta take a pill. Where's my pills at? Boy, I feel like shit. I just feel depressed. I don't know. I ain't Kurt Cobain in this shit, but I just feel depressed. I just feel really bad. On a Friday, I feel really. Well, I do, sweetie. Maybe I just wanna. I don't know. I don't know. I like when people signal me in their videos and only me and that person know what we're talking about. We go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I like that shit. It reminds me of something else that I used to do before social media. I forgot. What, that's the thing. I forgot what it was. But people can do that, you know. I forgot what it was. I totally forgot what it was. But I really like that shit. And this girl here, she, you know. I'm t I'm taking this world by storm, man. And I ain't gonna sit up here and lie to y'all. Figure it out. Figure figure my shit out. I, I'm coming off like that. Don't ask me shit. Because I ain't a fucking Bible major. Don't ask me shit. Figure shit out. And that's how I come off on social media. That's the way the world is. It, I ain't trying to be a smart ass or nothing. But that's the way the world is. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Nobody don't explain shit. So don't, why are you coming around here looking for explanations? Who am I, Orson Welles? This ain't no Channel 12 Nova motherfucker, dude. Figure shit out like everything else. You coming around here for looking for answers for it. There ain't, you know, let me be quiet because I'm in a fucked up mood. And, I, and I, my, my tongue will, will just be... I'm going to just be quiet, dude. I'm cursing all the time. and I just don't care. I just don't give a shit. I just don't care, man. Why well, even bother, dude? My fucking species ain't even the fucking shit people want to see any damn way. Why well, I'm going to come on here pretending. I ain't no fucking doo-wop fucking 1950 song. Them niggas do that fucking dependent doo-wop shit. Get that fucking R&B bullshit. I ain't do op. I ain't no fucking record from the fifties, dude. The great pretender and all that fucking shit. That brother do that. I don't do that fucking shit. Get that oldest redding shit the fuck out of my damn face. Cause ain't no great dependent motherfucker around here. If I feel bad, I'ma say it. Ain't no all the time happy, happy, joy, joy around this motherfucker, dude. Cause ain't that type of party. It never was that type of party, you know? Jimmies and shit. Little niggas with slick hair and she called himself little Jimmy and talking that doo wop bullshit. Ain't no fucking great pretending around here. I never was no fucking great It's this YouTuber dude, I'm gonna bust a hole in the ass. I swear to God, I'm gonna bust a hole in the ass. But she told me her sexuality and shit. That's, now she don't even fucking wanna deal with me, dude. I understand this shit. 
I understand, man. I understand. Now she don't even want to deal with me. I got the hiccup. So. The lonely guy with Steve Martin type shit. You know, he went over some bitch house and shit. Then he went back. She said, she said, I'm a man. And he just walked away from her and shit. You know, he, you know that type shit going on with me. Ever since that rainbow bright flag shit got up, popped up in the air. Now I can't meet no fucking body. Now everybody brave heart and shit. Mel Gibson type shit with their sexuality. You know, you ever a Steve or Martin movie, The Lonely Guy and shit? He goes back there to the bitch. The bitch I'm a man. And he just walked away from it. All the shit, all the YouTube books, that's what I'm going through. And it's fucking everybody brave and shit because of that rainbow bright bullshit. I don't want brought colors out. How they fucking gonna steal my fucking colors? Who want for me? It won't be no colors. Ever since that rainbow flag got popped up in the air, now every 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 so often you go up to a bitch. I'm a man. I like two. I like two dicks and shit. All the two sexes and fucking shit. Fucking my game up. I don't understand. You gonna ask me why I'm depressed? I'm depressed for a lot of fucking reasons. Y'all stop laughing, because that shit is not funny, man. I swear to God, that's not funny. All well, these YouTubers, I want to dig right up in their ass, and they know I do. This Jew, I try to make a move on this... Big mouth Jewish shit. This bitch Jewish girl. I try to be her fucking friend. She come off with some racist shit. You know, what the fuck is wrong? All your videos talk about how bad Jews got. Then you come off being racist. Look at this fucking bitch. What the fuck is this? <sighs> Boy, I tell you, man. The world is full of... This ain't nothing but Dr. Seuss Lane, dude. I just put up with it. Paying this bill every fucking month, coming on the air like this. But I'm a broadcaster, and it's okay to try to go out there and meet people, try to explore, and, and try to get to know who these who people are. It's okay to do that, and that's what I try to uh, come across. And it's just Hollywood. I don't know what the hell happened to these people. I don't know. You meet somebody, you hope and pray they're a normal person. They find, and then next thing you know, you turn around and they squidly diddly and shit. And they, it's like, oh man, I got God again, dude. I got God. This person ain't no nice person. This guy's a fucking. Y'all love that white skin bullshit, dude. I don't see nothing fabulous about. I'm colorblind. I don't see nothing. Only only time I see something with that is this pussy, white woman pussy. Fuck. If it ain't pussy, dude, I don't see nothing fascinating with that white skin shit. You get marked, you see it quicker, and every fucking ounce. I got light skin. I mean, my shit ain't real dark. Yeah, but I don't find nothing, you know. I don't get it. I just don't fucking get it. Y'all like that light skin? Y'all think that light skin shit? Hey, where you look? Everybody important and light skin and shit. Fuck that, man. I can't fuck with that. I can't, I can't, you know, that's y'all world. That ain't my fucking world. That ain't my fucking world. Like, I saw, I was watching this Indian, um... Now, listen, I was watching this Indian documentary. And, baby, you remember this shit. And this Indian documentary was about... India. They have... <laughs> They go and uh, have arranged marriages. They do arranged marriages in India. You go pick out a, a wife. And what I'm thinking, what if they had that in America? What if they had something like that in America? Where you could just go and pick out a wife and some big ass. You go and, like, when you reach a certain age, say you, are, you live in India. Say America was India. Say, say you wanted to get married. Okay? Say you of age. And wanted to get married. Say I wanted to get married. 
Now listen. So I get up, get dressed. I go to City Hall. I go to City Hall. And I walk in the office and it's this big ass book. This book is the size of like a briefcase sitting on the desk. And it just sits there for anybody to co go over to this book and open it up and look at the different pictures of all these different women. It got two books. One is for man and one is for woman. No. It be, I think I saw the one for man. I don't know about that woman picking shit out. I never seen that. I, I'm going to be honest. It was one for man. I'm just giving it the benefit for the doubt. This is one for, for for women and shit. You know, one so you could go in India they could go walk in this the city hall, open up this huge book the size the size of a briefcase and look at all of these pictures of women and they get to pick out their wife and shit. I'm like, what if America had some shit like that? And when the wife you pick out, they gotta marry them, I think. If everything's go, if everything goes right, you know, it's a huge book and shit they look at, and uh, they they get you pick up, and all these motherfuckers picking out light skinned Indians and shit. So that was the documentary it was about. How come Indian men picking out light skinned women, uh, Indian women, and leaving a dark skin? And I thought that was the most funniest fucking thing documentary I ever looked at, dude. I swear to God, I laughed. Baby, you know, I laughed, I laughed, I laughed from here to Kentucky Fried. Dude, I laughed my ass off. And these Indian guys, when it's time for them to pick out a wife, they go pick out the light-skinned uh, Indians and lead the dark-skinned. And the reason why I laugh, because I'm the opposite. I like dark-skinned Indians. I like I like the brown-skinned ones. I mean, the light-skinned ones okay. They okay, don't get me wrong, but... Light skin, do I mean every fucker thing light skin? You go outside and look at makeup departments, all light skin bitches. I mean, it, it's kind of light skin is common. I just like the eye and shit. I like dark skin. The darker the Indian, the better. I want a purple dark skin. I don't want no African. Now. I don't want that because I grew up in the projects. I had enough of black pussy. I want I want something different now. I'm adult. I want some different ass now. I grew up with black. My head was born. I grew up with my head of a black woman's ass. So I I don't want to do that black shit no more. I, I'm on something else. I'm trying some experimentation shit with my life. So I want dark skin. And the darker Indian, the better, dude. I swear to God. I like brown skin. I don't like that light skin shit. And it's funny that all of these guys go and get these light skinned Indians. I thought it was the funniest. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold in my laughter. <laughs> it's just these guys with the thought of them pick out a wife and shit. They go and get these light skinned motherfuckers and I just think that shit funny, dude. I just think it's fucking funny. They go out and get these light skinned motherfucking bitches. And they leave all the dark skins. <laughs> so the documentary was about, they was asking the Indian women how she feel about that. And she got a name for the, they actually got names for the color of the darker the color to the lighter. They got names for the shit. I forgot what it's called. I, I totally forgot. But it, it got, it, it's a funny shit. It's just funny fucking shit. It's just funny shit. There's rumors that the darker somebody is, the more wilder they is. You know, that's what Hollywood say. That's why people believe shit like that. But my shit is brown skin Indians. I don't give a fuck about that light skin bullshit. I, I mean, light skin, I get a white bitch. I mean, I don't give a fuck about that light skin bullshit, dude. I'm telling you, it's too common. It's too every fucking weird, dude. Every fucking weird. I, but, you know, I like the dark skin mature. And they say, good luck with that, then, motherfucker. You might as well go to dinner with Jaws, the shark, if you're going to find a, a dark-skinned, mature person. You know how rare that is? Shit. That's Jesus coming back and saying I'm a homosexual. It's, you know, I say that shit in front of my friends or whatever. Yeah, I want a dark-skinned, mature, decent, uh, who don't got no soul and all that, just dark-skinned. They say, man, good luck with that. You might as well get a white bitch that got a tan. Cause that's the closest you're going to get. Cause they say 
that when the dark skin a motherfucker is, the more crazy they are, you know, and shit like that. And I don't believe that because I had a lot of, uh, stop laughing, guys. Y'all laugh too fucking much. Now, I'm trying to make a video where you talk serious and y'all think everything funny. Now, I met a lot of uh, dark skin uh, people that's, that's mature and decent and I just don't know where they at. I just, you know. I met a lot, and then when they got older, they got sold. But I'm talking when I was a child. I know that's really bad, ain't it, Sweeney? That's really fucking bad. But at least I dealt with. They was dark skin, even though it was in junior high school. They was acting normal. When they got, when we got in high school in the Bayonne, they started getting that soul shit, R and B bullshit. I was getting the fuck away from me, and that's just because I can't fuck with that soul shit. I can't fuck with it, and. I ran with the soul crowd, the space invader hats and sheepskin coats and gazelle glasses. I had all that shit. I ain't have all the shit. I had some of the shit. So I ran with the fucking hip-hop fucking genre. But, uh, you know, I'm older now. Uh, you know, I'm on to something else. And it's sad that when I got older, stop laughing. I got older, the niggas want to get soul. They get all, not, not soul, but when you're younger, you got this. You know, hey, you biting. All your boys are biters and shit like that in the 80s breakdance and shit. So I'm all up in that shit. And when you get older, it, it gets the real shit. It's the real black soul. Like, you know, and you know that uh, this person, all that fucking black BET bullshit. All right, I got all right, I got to break away from the blacks. I can't fuck around with that nigga shit. Fuck out of here. Because I ain't, I ain't never going to be that, so... Y'all get what I'm saying. I ain't never gonna be there. Any any light skinned black person know what I'm talking about, or any mixed black person know what I'm talking. about. When you in that that surround at a certain age, you kick the fuck out because they don't. Either you gonna just be their puppet, or you kick the fuck out. And I ain't no niggas puppet. You out of your fucking mind, dude. I don't give a fuck what that white man say. So fuck him and that white man. Fuck them both to this day. Michael Jordan loving motherfuckers. I don't like neither one of them. So, I'm, tr you know, they laugh at me because I say I want. Uh, it's good to have a dark skinned mature person. They say you might as well be walking on the sun, like that fucking song in the '90s, walking on the sun, because you. Ain't, I mean, shit. Every every dark skinned motherfucker gonna be swinging their fucking head like a bobblehead doll. So, if you're looking for a mature, dark-skinned person, good luck to that shit. And it, that kind of slaps me in the fucking face, because that's what I like and shit. Uh. All the maturity lies with light-skinned people and shit for some strange reason. You sit up here, and we live in a world full of lies and shit. They sit up here, I don't like what you said, and deny and deny and deny and deny. And you meet these motherfuckers with dark skin. And they be trying to act cool and shit. And I had these dealing with bitches and thinking they cool. And I be telling them, like one of my relationships I had, I was, she wanted to be like MC Light or some shit. I kept telling her shit. You're not MC Light. See them bitches over there, that fly girl. Fly girl. I said, you hear that song and you start acting different around me. I don't like it. I feel like busting in your fucking face. And she used to tell me, she said, no, you just jealous because you're not part. I said, ain't got nothing to do with that. That's not who you are and shit. Then she started shaking her head. You just mad all crooked thinking she fly like black soul and looking stupid. And I grew up with niggas looking like that, trying to be black soul and they look stupid and shit. And I, I ain't going through none of that fucking shit, dude. None of it. It's hard to find a dark skin to act like a motherfucker because all of them think they got this black... They got this black soul to their ass. And I don't put up with none of that shit. It's bad enough. It, got, it's, it must be powerful. Got the white man thinking he got color now. So it must be some powerful shit. But I don't give a fuck about it, dude. And my point is that these Indian motherfuckers going for this light-skinned motherfucker everywhere. And I just think it's funny. I just think that's how Indians, when it's time to pick out a wife, they go for light-skinned Indian women. And I think that's the funniest fucking thing I ever seen next to Moses coming down off the mountain and seeing his people say, go fuck yourself because we built a golden calf. And he looked this stupid. 
and broke the Ten Commandments. And that's that's how funny I think it is. How you know, that's that's just um the way it is. Dude. How all these Indians prefer light skinned Indians and dark skinned Indians. My shit is dark skinned Indians. The darker the better, dude. I swear to God, I like the dark skinned shit. I want to see discoloration. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my, I don't know why I said that shit. Oh, that's some nasty shit. But oh my god, that's some nasty shit. But my preference is the white woman. But she, you can't get a white woman. They get these white women who say, "I'm chewing some gum." By the way, in case you're wondering. You get these white women say she not racist, and then she somewhere along the line you gonna hear a racist comment from when they, you know, the light skinned people think they you know you find it out they stupid nowadays though that's just coming out now that's the new thing now how the light skinned people really stupid that's that's funny that's the funny thing that's happening now so the bottom line is, I like the brown skin Indian fuckers. I like brown skin Vietnamese, but they racist too. Um, Filipinos and stuff. They ask you, where you from? And somebody asked me that in the community before. And they was right, because I was off key with the ass. The Filipinos and stuff. They very, very, they very, the brown skin Filipinos don't play that Chinese shit, you know? They don't play that shit. I like brown skinned women. I just do. I just do. But I go up a white woman ass. Anybody? I just like women. Dude. I just <sighs> shit, man. I love some fucking pussy, dude. I mean, I'd be so into women, and I'll have so much fun with women if they just relax and trust me and shit. But they don't know who I am. I ain't gonna try to force myself on no bitch, dude. But it's a shame how I'm on social media all the So that's what I'm saying. As soon as they find out how cool I am, watch I'll be on something else. I'll be like, I ain't dealing with no social media women no more. And it's going to be right at the time they say, hey, I like this Rashid motherfucker. Yeah, he cool. It. You know, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be gone. Watch. Whoever listen to me, I'm a predictor, right? Watch it be like that. Watch. I never lied to y'all, right? When I carry my social media, I said... I'm going to find me a nice person to talk to. And now look what I'm going through. I found y'all see I found a lot of nice people, right? My prediction is watch that happen. All these bitches going to want to be cool with me. And I'm going to be like, and I can't because I'm on something else. Watch, pay attention now. Watch and see. They got the opportunity right now and they acting stupid. Only some of them are, are cool with me. Or the rest of them acting dumb. Watch it be like that. Oh, I can trust Rashid. Well, guess what? Rashid on something else now. Because Rashid found something other than YouTube and Google now. He on something else now. He's still on Rashid. Rashid's still on YouTube and Google. Don't get me wrong, but he on something else now. You ain't never going to talk to him. Because now the people he's dealing with better than you. Watch and see. So I'm not worried about these bitches. I'm not worried. They keep not trusting my ass. I don't give a fuck. I really don't care. Because they listening to these white men who talk all, yeah, wow. Social media is a platform where you're supposed to be expressing yourself in the right manner. So people can understand your content more than, more influential than if you like, say you came on. They, 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 they like men like that on social media. My dick is too big to be acting like that. Alright, that's the, that's the end of that bullshit right there. That ends that shit right there. My dick is too big to be acting like that. That's how that's how I'm coming off. I don't give a motherfuck about men like that. Punk ass, bitch ass men like that. Geek motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about them. And that's how I'm coming off. They don't like me. I don't give a fuck about them either. I really don't. I don't care. The intelligent ass the fuck away from me. Finish getting your ass whooped in that schoolyard so motherfuckers like me be laughing at you. Nerd ass motherfuckers, I can't stand the ass. 
My dick is too big for that. And my guy, I got big, juicy, saggy balls. And that's too big for that, too. They too big for me to act like way too. That, too. I'm about the pussy. And they acting stupid, you know? And it's a shame that... Now, listen. Listen, guys. I'm not wrong on this. I know I'm rude right there, but I'm not wrong. And listen. And it's a shame that I'm untrusted because... Of this nationality shit I don't know nothing about. That's how I whipped out Sadiqian on everybody. And nobody know what that is. So everybody want to act stupid. And I don't know what they talking about. There you go. I'm a Sadiqian. We are. We Sadiqians around here. And we don't, we don't know nothing nobody fucking talk about, dude. Same way. That's it, love it. That's fair is fair. Fair to me. As far as I'm concerned, that race shit. You look at some pictures from the Holocaust. Look at some, Google the Holocaust ghetto and look at those pictures. Just look at those pictures, dude. Then you're going to come off being a fucking racist. You're the corporate, dude, not me. You are. See, you're wrong, not me. You are. So don't look at me and say, because I'm like this, you ain't going to deal with me, dude. You're the issue, not me. You're the issue. And that ends that shit. You're the problem. That's right. You're the problem. That's all I got to say about it. So go ahead with your fucked up ass, light skin, sandy looking. Ain't even sandy looking no more. Nigga fucking it up. So... I don't know what the fuck it is now. Let's go ahead with it. You think that shit better. Go ahead with it. I seriously beg to differ, dude. Ain't nothing like a mature, dark-skinned motherfucker without no soul. They got base to them. They got base. Personality, base. Their head ain't all in the fucking clouds and shit. And that's just the way I feel about it. I don't give a fuck about it, dude. You want to be friends with um, light skin, whatever, but it's hard because they, you know, they always pop a race in your face. Not with me, though. That's the thing, not with me, but it's a long story, dude. With me, they pop their own race in their face. It's a long, y'all would never understand it. If I even explain that to y'all, y'all will never understand it. I come from being a white woman's best friend and shit. The Jew woman too. And this white bitch cried in my arms every day when we left for work. Because she was going right back in a white family. And she wept in my arms, man, like a little baby. And I comfort her every goddamn day. This when I was an art teacher. And she was an art teacher, too. She cried in my arms every fucking day that we left from work. We'd be walking, you know. Then her voice start curling and shit. And I'd be looking at her. I'd turn my head look at her. Come on. You're starting to cry because she knows she's going to go right back home to the old white community. That's where I come from. I was her best friend. Now she with that nigga and shit, everything changed all around this motherfucker. And I'm la I'm the one laughing, dude. I'm the one laughing. I know truth. You can't fuck with me. I know truth. And this motherfucker she was married to come by the job looking all like a white man back then and shit. Clinton administration. He looking all like, I said, man, I used to just look at him and go, yeah, how you doing? I used to just look, see right through his ass. And he don't even know his wife crying in my arms every fucking day over his little stupid ass. You know, shit like that. Funny fucking shit, man. Funny fucking shit. We didn't got a lot to say about. I fed his fucking ass in high school when his white mother and father ain't give a fuck about him. I fed him. Now he acting stupid and shit. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right, man. 
I was a nice kid in school. Yeah, I was. I was a nice kid in school, man. For God, I was a motherfucker, but I still was nice. You know. I love some brown skin Indian bitches, dude. But they, they scared. They, number one, they support you like a motherfucker. Like I got, they, I got some Indians that, Indian women right there would do what the fuck I tell them to do. See, that's the kind of man I am. Do what the fuck I tell you to do. You know why? Because I know shit. I know shit. I'm not saying you don't know shit, but I know shit. Do what the fuck I tell you to do, and that's how I treat women, dude. I'm not a womanizer, I'm not a feminist, what do you call that, a male chauvinist, whatever. Ain't got nothing to do with that. I love you, I want to take care of you. Okay? I'm going to teach you, this is, this, is, this is how I teach a woman. This is how I teach a woman. I teach her like I teach a pet. Because she coming, number one, you got to understand that this woman is coming out from the world. See, I'm a cult leader. You gotta understand it. I got certain spiritual beliefs. This is how I treat my women. This woman is coming off from the world. That means, period. Her head is fucked up. Her head is fucked up. She thinks all this, I am woman, hear me roar. I could do all. That's because nobody gives a fuck about her. That's why she acting that way. I can't do any women's live. That's because... She wants the same thing that she see what John got next door in the yard. That man right there. See, the man got every fucking thing. That's why she like that. Every fucking thing I got picks up. Now, there's no women on cereal boxes. Unless you come across one of them fucking uh, poop cereals like granola or some shit. Or this old senior citizen bullshit. That's when you see a woman on a box. Because some reason they think women give a fuck about how they poop come out their ass. So when you go look at that uh, Flakes Crispy Grand Brand Flakes, that's the only bitch on a box. A uh, cartoon uh, series, all fucking the men, the boys. She ain't got shit to have fun with in this world. She ain't got a fucking thing. So that's why she the way she is. So, do what the fuck I tell you to do. Because, see, this is what I'm going to teach her. We got to start from kindergarten. I'm going to teach you that when I got a problem, we got a problem. When she got a problem, when she has a problem, we both have a problem. See, her problems are my problems. My problems are her problems. See, I have to teach her that from the start. Then I got to teach a bitch that there's okay to be fit. It's okay to go out there and pick flowers if that's what you like. I'm a man. And I would like to go out and pick flowers. So how the fuck you gonna say you're a woman and you wouldn't want to pick no damn flowers? Or oh, she can't show that because, okay, I got to teach that bitch that it's okay to go out and pick flowers, you see. Then I got to teach the bitch that bitch is just a word. Just like nigga is just a word. And if you get offended over a word, then you're less of a human being. Because a word don't make a man. A man makes a word. So how a word going to come about and control a man's emotions? It don't make sense. That's like if you taking a poop or a shit and your poop or shit come to life and whip your ass and you scared of it and you just shit it and pooped it up. Men make words. So how words going to take over a man's emotions? Just like the word bitch, nigga, or whatever else. So I got to teach this woman these things. These are the Rashid fundamentals of the Rashid cult. These, <laughs> these are the fundamentals, not only of the Rashid cult, but these are the fundamentals I got to teach a motherfucker who's in my life right now. Who wants to be in my life, or she in my life, or, or enter in my life. These are the things I got to teach her and shit. I'm up against, I, I was up against strong opposition when that fucking um, R&B music was hot, when the break dancer was hot, when, um, uh, that Tom Cruise, Jerry Maguire fucking shit. When that, if I sleep with your wife for one night, give me a million dollars, indecent proposal movie. So I was up against competition. Now I ain't got that fucking shit no more. And that's what I'm laughing at. That's what I'm laughing at. Because I'm wondering what happened to y'all shit. 
I'm not going to harp on it because I don't want nobody to feel insecure or uncomfortable around my channel. But I just know that I'm laughing my fucking ass off. Now, everybody's black now. And that's the shit that I'm laughing at from here to a time. I'm going to keep laughing because somebody fell. And y'all stop laughing because somebody fucking fell on their fucking face, dude. And it ain't the woman's fault because a woman is a weaker vessel. The Bible tells you that. So it ain't her fault. Somebody fucking fell. And I'm laughing and I'm laughing. I don't get and it's worth not being on the red carpet. It's worth them saying, Rashid, you'll never be in Hollywood. It's worth it, dude. I'm cause back then, that's these motherfuckers were tyrants in this country. And now these motherfuckers running behind Negroes. And I'm laughing. I don't give a fuck about red carpet to the Academy Award. I don't give a fuck about winning an Emmy. I don't laugh. This laughing at you is worth it, dude. I don't give a fuck about it because somebody fucking failed. And I don't want to make nobody feel insecure in that, so I'll leave it like that, dude. Somebody fucking failed. Been there, done there, all that fucking shit right down the drain, dude. So. Oh, good fuck about being famous, dude. This is enough. A view experience in this shit right here is enough. I don't give a fuck about it, man. I really don't. But in a nutshell, getting back to the woman, to the pussy and shit. That's what I teach women. That's how I teach her. You see? I'm like the father you always wanted. I'm like the father you never had. I give a fuck about you, bitch. It's that simple. And I call my women bitches. They don't give. They love me. You call them bitches. They love it. They love it. They, bitch. They. Rashi called me. Treat me like shit. And I, I can't do it. I just because I'm a nice guy. But they love it. They love when I call them bitches. <laughs> because they stupid bitches around here. My how decent women stupid bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stupid, you clap when you see these the fucking shit though. But that's what I that's how I treat women and shit. Ain't no male chauvinist fucking shit in it, dude. Ain't no male chauvinist in it. She can she, without the woman there'll be no men, you see. Without the woman there'll be no families. Without the woman there'll be nothing. Nothing. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how strong you are, you always think a mom, dude. Because you know that's your nest. Without that love right there, a man is nothing. So women rule. It's that simple. Women rule. It's that simple, dude. And that's the way the life is. Just like these light skinned motherfuckers running around here thinking they precious like Sandy Duncan. And that's why that Taylor Swift motherfucker in that courtroom. Don't touch me. That's why they, it's just natural as that. Women rule. That's why they tell her swift on that stand. Her mother crying like a little fuck. Oh, touch my woman, my baby's ass. That's why this going on right now. This is real as that. I ain't gonna fuck a lot of you, too. Talking all that shit, man, man, man. Then something happened to your mom or whatever. You breaking down like a little... What's that fucking thing? Teeter-totter, motherfucker. That inchworm. From the 70s. You break it down like that stupid huckleberry helm muck up. Let me shut. Let me um be quiet. I don't want to. I'm starting to talk too much. I'm going to be quiet with certain subjects we talk about. And you'll stop laughing because Rashi dropping shit. And I'm just saying, man, you know. A lot of women got a crush on me. A lot of women like Rashi. And. And then when they see me fucking with some pussy on my Google page, they get jealous and shit. I want them bitches to stop it. I want you to stop doing that. Stop doing that right there, getting jealous of me. Because that's how a lot of, I lost a lot of subscribers. I could come off and be flirty with some woman on my Google page tomorrow. And I bet you I lose a subscriber. I'm not shitting you. I'm not shitting y'all. I bet you I will lose a subscriber. If they actually, if everybody actually experienced Rashid talking to a woman on my Google page, I will lose a subscriber. Not only that, but I'll see uh, these other YouTube videos being uploaded and I'll see an attitude problem. I'm not fucking with you. And I, and these women know I watch their videos. They know. And they'll be uploading with attitude fucking problems and shit now. 
you gotta understand one you gotta understand a couple things i love to chase women love to get chased we all got that it's just part of womanhood she likes a man to go out her way to show how much he wants the pussy dudes that's just the way life is you grow up that's just the way life is <laughs> baby laugh <laughs> it's true it's true women love that peppy le pew bullshit a man going out her way let me see him work for the push let me see how much he want me all right we got that shit. i don't give a fuck about it i, I will i will i'll do the chase i'm peppy everybody know i'm peppy around this motherfucker everybody know it ain't no mystery now if i meet a girl and all this shit, they fucking unsuspect they run they all of a sudden they run in the fucking way and shit they get jealous and everything stop doing that shit I'm trying to get y'all to understand what kind of person I am. Just because I got pussy on my left, it ain't got nothing to do with pussy on my right. It don't have nothing to do with you. In fact, you you supposed to be wanting to hold my dick if the bitch want to suck it. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, you should know what kind of man I am. You should know that I'm with you. I'm your fucking man. It ain't about who I'm fucking over here. That's not what it's about. It's about the fact that I'm your man. Or I'm your love interest. Or in this case, social media. I'm your love interest. So you should be worried about that. You should be worried about, oh, I see my, the person I like is, fucking, is flirting with another fucking... Uh, that's not what it's about. You go, so when, it's old, when, that, when I'm finished with this ass over here, that's when you come up to me and go, what the fuck going on? But you don't leave me. What you leaving me for? What are you going to gain by leaving me? What what is going to happen? What's going to gain? Why if I if you if if you come up to me and say now I could choose a scapegoat. I could choose a scapegoat and say I'm a celebrity. I got people to like me. I got see that's a scapegoat for Rashid. It's not a scapegoat for, scapegoat for a lot of men. But it's a scapegoat for me. I'm not going to run right there. I'm going to be real with you as a man. I'm going to be real with you. You know because I'm getting this ass, I'm not going to leave you. So why are you going to leave me? You leave me. I don't see you no more. Now I'm stuck with this new pussy I'm getting. You think I'm not going to be affected by you? We, we build a relationship together. Now you out of my life. Now I'm fucking this new pussy. I'm not going to be affected by you. That's how you want me to feel. You should come up to me. Like, my women. Let me tell you about my bitches, dude. Uh, they don't give a fuck about who I fuck with. Of course, I'm King. I'm Rashid. I'm, I'm a coat reader. But if I fuck with a woman, if I'm fucking with a woman, dude. When I when they were outside, wait, they say you finish. How was she? How was she? that's how my women treat me? And I'm like this bitch here. I'm right real with her. This bitch here, she a nice girl. Yeah, she ain't like the other one. My woman said for real, I said, mm -hmm. she ain't like the that fucking. Remember that bitch I was with? That we start laughing again. Remember that bitch I told you? That's how me and my woman got a relationship. Now that's not an open relationship. That's not an open relationship, dude. And it's not a relationship where, okay, this woman looking at Rash, her man fucking another one. It ain't like that. It's not like that. I do not. I'm a flirt, dude. I'm a tease. That's what Rashid do. That's what I do. The way I fuck this bitch is not the way I will fuck my woman right here. See, my woman right here. Oh, shut up. Just be quiet. Let me talk. My woman right here knows what I like. This bitch I met don't. So she don't give a fuck what I do with her. She really don't care. See, my woman knows what I like. And she know no new bitch can learn that overnight. So she gonna be insecure with her womanhood in front of me. That's how a woman deals with Rashid and other bitches. But you don't leave me. Because when you leave me and unsubscribe me, you look like a dick. You look like one of these jealous knucklehead bitches. Then I don't even know why you listen to me right now. 
If you secure your womanhood and I really like you, there's no reason for you to walk away if I'm fucking with... I don't give a fuck who... I don't give a fuck if it's Princess Diana's corpse. You shouldn't fucking get jealous, period. You know? You shouldn't. So don't... Don't pop that... Or if I she flirt with another girl, I'm going to unsubscribe on bullshit. You know, if that's the case, you should unsubscribe me now. Because you're going to see that shit. You're going to see it, dude. You're going to see it. I'm not going to sit here and say you're not going to see it. You're going to see it. Because that's what I do. You know, I like women and shit. I just fucking like women. But it don't got nothing to do with you. It, ain't got, it don't have nothing to do with me and your relationship. Which I'm trying to build and make strong. It got nothing to do with that. Now, this girl is fucking with my head on YouTube. Now, she's fucking with my head because she knows I know her sexuality. Now, she branching off to some other shit now. Now, I was like, oh, it's going to just drop just like that? Okay, fine. It's going to drop just like that. I don't understand. I really don't understand it. I really don't understand. Women today give up so easy. You know what I'm saying, fellas? Women today give up so easy. Nobody willing to fight for... A relationship and that's with these Indian women especially especially these Indian women like I was saying she's very supportive an Indian woman is very fucking supportive very supportive but if you're not married to one in my opinion she will leave you in a heartbeat I don't know how she is with white boy I don't know how she is with white boy but for a minority in my experience she'll leave you if you shit the wrong way if you just a chew on her hamburger, she'll fucking leave you. She one sensitive bitch, dude. And them bitches, that's why I don't really... With Indian women, I really don't... I tease them and chase them and all, but that's the far as I go. Because I can't deal... I, I can't deal with their sensu, they sensitiveness. The only way they're not sensitive if you're in some arranged marriage and she can't go no fucking way. I see why they arranged this shit. Because that bitch there, you can't... She like a butterfly. You can't catch it, dude. The Indian bitch, you can't catch it. Don't believe that Hollywood interracial movie bullshit, dude. That's a bunch of bullshit. That Indian bitch will leave you in a heartbeat for no fucking reason. You be wondering what I do. And that Indian bitch be gone. And she'll, she'll laugh at you crying over her. That's what she do. That's all these women do. That's what they do. They they break your heart and they sit back and laugh at your ass. And shit, you gotta be careful. You gotta protect your heart, dude. Protect your fucking heart. You got to protect your heart in this world because people just out to hurt you and sit back and laugh at you. And a broken heart is something. You don't want to go through no shit like that, dude. You'd rather be skinned alive than go through your heart being broken over some love relationship. And I would hate for a girl, for a woman to feel that way about me. I would hate that because it's not like that. If she just talked to me and say, well, she, I don't like you talking to that bitch. Well, I don't like you talking about that. Yeah, talking about that, but then she she won't have I won't have to break her heart. But she rather take what I do and just run with that and shit. She rather just run with that and say no. But she I don't want you to tell me shit because I already know. And just, she not giving me opportunity to explain my fucking stuff. And it's not fair, dude. It's not fair. Now she got a broken heart, which I can mend, but she's not allowing me to mend it. Because she rather be broke. See why she broke her heart. It's stupid shit. Y'all don't break no bitch heart. What the fuck I want to break her fucking heart for? I want the pussy. I want I want a pussy to, to, to feel like my home and shit. And when I go up in her asshole, I, I've been here thousands of times. It makes the pussy more enjoyable. There's some new pussy. You get pussy one day hoping this bitch don't got disease. I hope that I don't get this bitch pregnant. I hope this bitch don't get too attached to me. I hope, you know, you're thinking all this shit when you're fucking a new bitch. When you fucking, you want to be relaxed. So the more the, you know a bitch, the, you know what I'm saying, guys? You know, fellas out there, you know. So so I don't want to break nobody heart because that's good pussy right there. It's just leaving me. It's just stupid shit. It's just stupid ass shit. You know, that's dumbass shit, man. I don't want her to feel that fucking way, dude. I want her to be, you know, relaxed and she, you know, I want her to trust me. I ain't gonna break her fucking heart. 
Why would I want to do that for? I'm a nice guy. And then she going to come back, hey, you guys, RVT and shit. I, let me tell you what happened to me before. I was an art teacher, right? So I was talking to this bitch. And she was like an art teacher, too, in my, my uh, job. So I'm talking to her. And me and her start talking on the telephone. I'm going to tell her, man. I'm a, and all of a sudden, I got so nasty with her, dude. She was like, why she? Because you don't understand in my job that I work with, I was a teacher. And I was like, okay, um, guys, you know, how you, you know how you teach art and stuff. Okay, hey, that's good right there. But she studied about watching me from the corner of her eye. She's watching me like, why well, she's a good man. He's a good man. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go in the back and get you some more uh, markers. So you can finish this painting right here. In fact, I'm going to get you an easel, a better easel, because this one's tipping over. That way you could get uh, any more acrylic. You know, I'm talking all decent and shit. Any more acrylic and shit. So I'm running her back and doing this, and she watching me, saying, he a good man. So I start talking to her and shit on the telephone and shit. And I start getting nasty and nasty, and I got so fucking the base. She was like, oh, my shy, no use. And then guess what? It didn't work out between us and shit. She, I don't know what happened, but it just didn't work out. So when we went to work, I was all that. And guess what she saw? You see what I'm saying? I'm going out like that. I'm going out like Tennessee tuxedo type shit. Like that and shit. And then she started looking at me like that fucking uh, the Guardian movie. With that um, um, Lou Gossip Jr. at the end of it. Looking like what the fuck kind of guy. You know Lou Gossip Jr. was in the background standing there. And uh, um, Sheen was looking. That's what, that's how it was and shit. When I we went to work. And I don't give a fuck. Because I'm, I'm Rashid. It, there's only one Napoleon. There's only one George Washington. And there's one Rashid. And that's the, what the world got to deal with. So she started looking like Lou Gossard Jr. and um, Martin Sheen and shit. How he was standing in the background the apartment building. And he was like, what the fuck? And I was because I was busy being a nice guy when she saw my dark side, you know. And that's, and that's life. That's Rashid right there. Because I'm a nice guy. Y'all know, don't know shit about me. Y'all know a fucking thing about me. They tell a bitch to be a woman in public and a whore in bed to her husband. I go further than left. I'm a gentleman in public. Get to know me out of bed. And when you get in bed, just expect shit. That's why she. See, it's a difference between me and a woman. It's a, it's a big fucking difference. A big difference. And that's all I got to say. Big difference. My baby used to say, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I'm just saying a woman's motto when she married or got a boyfriend is be a woman in public and be a whore in bed. All right, I go further to length. I'm a gentleman in public. I'm a whore because my name Rashid and you bet I get in that fucking bed because there's no what to expect. And that's it. That's my motherfucker. That's my motherfucker right there. And ain't nothing else to say. Nobody want to hear that stupid shit. This ain't Saturday Night Fever. This ain't John Travolta. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm talking, I'm talking, speaking real. You're going to take a bath. She took one two weeks ago. I'm going to give her another one. Because uh, I'm sick of you, the, the shit now. This ain't no sexual revolution going on. How, you gonna be, how is this going to be a sexual revolution when niggas all over the place making everybody impotent? How the fuck does that work? How the fuck is this a sexual revolution when niggas making everybody impotent? See, I can't, see, it's the shit like that I can't deal with. 
And I'm not going to either. Never going. I'm never going to deal with it. Never. Never. Do what the fuck I tell you to do, bitch. Do. I swear to God, bitch. I swear to God, bitch. Do 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 like that fit on the roof UK shit. Motherfucker fit on the roof with a flute in his hand, with a flute blowing that shit. Do what I say, bitch. Like that, that punk ass UK bullshit musical. And that's it. And these women gotta understand that. And that's just the way it is. That's it is. That's what it is. I these punk ass men out here walking around with t shirts on, loving Star Wars. Saying, oh, baby, I respect you. I get a fuck of the bitch. No, I respect her. She's my bitch. What the fuck is this? This ain't no fucking Star Wars t-shirt bullshit, dude. Fuck are your girl thinking about Luke Skywalker and shit. This motherfucker, dude. No, I don't do that. I don't give a fuck about it. Lay that shit around me. Put that shit away from me, dude. I'm a broadcaster. I'm a broadcaster. I don't fuck women to think about no damn video games. I don't do that. I don't, I don't choose video game over no pussy. I don't do that. I'll probably choose the internet. It depends on what I'm looking at. Then my girl, I come over and slam the computer down in my fucking face. And I don't give a fuck about it. I really don't care. Depends on what I'm looking at. Depending on what I'm looking at, dude. But the point of the matter is, don't play with my manhood. Don't play with my t testosterone level. These YouTube women who t signify me in the videos, don't play with my testosterone. And that Jew women try to make a statement. This bitch, this, I know she listening. Sweetie, you just as backwards as a mother. You backwards as a cartoon fucking mule. If you getting up there talking about how Jews being treated injustice, then turn around and say, all right, because you like that, I don't like you. You crazy as fuck, dude. Something wrong. So you got, you, I don't know if you laughing, listening to this. You probably laughing over some crystal ball or some shit because you look like you on that tip. And YouTube already shut your videos off or some shit. They canceled your videos because you're talking that politic bullshit. Is he going to come off and say you racist, dude? You bad. You something wrong. I never had, I never met a Jew woman like you before. You you way the fucker. I don't know what kind of shit you on. You way. You. I know she listening. I know she is. I know she listening. This bitch on her video, she Jews this, Jews that. YouTube great kick a fuck, get, telling her to shut up or get the fuck off YouTube. Then she gonna turn around and be racist. Like, what the fuck is this bitch? What the fuck? What's going on here, dude? What the fuck is this bitch? She's talking about Jews in the Holocaust, Jews this, Jews that. She turn around and be racist and shit. Fuck it. You want some Planet Nine type shit. You know that Planet Nine direct the move Hollywood shit? That's what shit she on. She, I don't know. I don't, something wrong with that, dude. Something wrong with that chick there. I I went up in that fucking Gmail. I ain't gonna tell her my business. I said some shit to her. She came out with some crazy shit. And, dude, this bitch is straight Planet Nine, dude. I don't know. Maybe she get herself together now. I don't know. I don't know, but. How the fuck she gonna come up being racist and shit? How, oh, all that fucking shit she talk out her damn mouth. And YouTube trying to, YouTube chasing her saying, we gonna get you the fuck out of here. And she gonna... Mm. I'll tell you, see? See shit like that. And then they sit back and say, don't call me a bitch. It's just fucking shit, man. <laughs> you do shit and then say, don't... That's like a, a alligator... Biting, eating everybody, and they say, don't call me a killer. This fucking shit, dude. Y'all stop laughing, because these YouTube bitches be tripping, dude. I swear to God they be tripping.
this these other two YouTube women, they got my dick hard and shit because they talk about some, you know, they know what they were saying. That that tarot card fucking these two you YouTube women, they 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 I try to do business with them and actually know. Hey, I wanna. Hey, why not? Why not fuck them? You don't want to do business together. You don't want to do Wall Street Journal. You don't want to do um stocks and bonds, and you don't want to think like greed is good. Greed. You don't want to do Michael Douglas fucking shit. Might as well be a pervert with you. These see these women leave me no choice. They leave me no choice. They leave me no choice, dude. I can't help but think of them that way. They don't want to do Michael Douglas. Y'all don't want to do Wall Street. You don't want to do the Dow, Industrial, and all that fucking shit. With RET, collaborate. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do greed. Greed is good. Greed works. Look at his white ass today. See how stupid that look? So you don't want to you don't want to do business. Alright, then you got to go you got to step over to the other part of Rashid then. She's the Jocko Deckle Docko Deckle Doctor motherfucking shit and then Mr. Hyde. You see Doctor Jekyll, Mr. Hyde shit. It's the doctor motherfucker and it's the Hyde. So you got to go over to Hyde. Fuck the Doctor Jekyll motherfucker. What about that? I know they listening too. What about that? What about that? I'll bring y'all on a set. I know these YouTube, my sick ass audience will love to see us fuck all three of us in one, in one fucking band. They'll, they'll break their fucking backbone to see it. All they got to know is who you are. I ain't going to do it, though, because I know y'all got a career and, and you got a business. But what about that? What about, what about us in one B and shit? What about that? You get my dick hard read cards and shit all on the fucking thing and laughing, acting stupid. You got me all like that looking at your videos. All right, let's take that shit to the bedroom. Let's see if you agree with the spirits in the fucking bed. What about that? Nah, you don't want to do that. Nah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that, dude. You know why? Because we live in a decent society. But you got on all that fucking shit. Like you street and shit. I mean, you, really, you still decent. You can come over here. I'm the big bad wolf around this motherfucker. You ain't that street. Bitch ain't that street. No, you ain't that street to come around here with that shit. Bring that spiritual fucking shit right in the bedroom. Will you think different about it then? If it's in that bed? And my tongue up your ass? She probably said, I hate that, motherfucker. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I hate that, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, shit. Let me leave them alone. I'm going to leave them alone, too, because they don't want shit. They don't want shit. None of these bitches want shit. None of them. They don't want shit, dude. Signify me in videos and show all that bullshit. You ain't got to do that, sweetie. You ain't got to do that. Uh-uh. I'll marry both your fucking asses. I don't give a fuck. That fucked up country you from. They ain't, that government don't give a fuck. You think your government give a fuck if I marry both of y'all at the same time? Your government, your, mother, your government don't give a fuck about it, dude. You know that. You know that shit. So... All that fucking uh, bullshit you kick it, it, it ain't got to do no spiritual shit. The way y'all look, I'll get both of you motherfuckers. But you, I know you got a man. I know y'all got a man somewhere. I know you got men somewhere. I know you do. I know you do, man. Ain't no fucking, ain't no fucking Guatemala pepper belly gonna let y'all motherfuckers free. Do not like that. I'll be damned if y'all single. You out of your fucking mind, dude. Y'all ain't single. Not no bitches like y'all. Y'all ain't no single shit. There's a motherfucker around. Believe that. 
Oh, it's a motherfucker, motherfucker like that, the, 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 the motherfucker y'all about. Oh, it's a, y'all got a nigga, ain't no doubt about it. Bumming ass motherfucker. Keep giving him your money and keep supporting his ass. Cause I know he ain't supporting you. Let me let me shut up, dude. See, I'm from the project, so you can't fuck with me, sweeties. Both of y'all. Y'all can't fuck with me. I'm from the hood. So keep supporting your man. And don't worry about spiritual shit. Nothing that bullshit. Cause y'all don't want shit. Go right up your ass. They don't die. Both of y'all can get this shit. I swear to God, both of y'all can get it. We'll make a new popsicle flavor, baby. No doubt about it. <laughs> you crack it up. <laughs> shit, we gonna make a new popsicle flavor. That delicious ass fucking shit. Popping that shit all in my damn face. See, I gotta get rude. First, I was mature with them and shit. And, hey, wait, oh, they, they just been disrespectful or some shit. What's going on here? Oh, you don't want Michael Douglas. His degree is good. You don't want that shit. You wanna, you wanna be rude and shit. Okay, let's be rude. I don't care. I don't care. You don't want greed is good. You don't want greed is good. Greed works. You don't want business. Oh, you want to be a rude motherfucker. Okay, let's be rude motherfuckers then. How about venting the popsicle and the bullshit? I could be, I could, that's what you want. Pussy is always negotiable, but the, what you don't know is I got a good dick. That's what you don't know. And most men today don't got good dick. See, most men today, women just look at, oh, they just got a dick and they all look the same. Not with Rashid, it's not like that. It's been that way my whole fucking life. And But you don't know it, though, because you don't know me. I ain't got a fucking lot of you. My dick is good as pussy, dude. So I'm playing my shit just like you playing your pussy. And you don't even know it. Remember that. And don't forget it. Both of y'all fuckers don't forget it. And keep that fucking video. Don't change nothing. Change your background. Take them niggas off the wall though. I don't like looking at your niggas on the wall. I don't like it. I'm about to pussy. I ain't gay. I don't, don't get offended. Just take them niggas off your wall in the background. Could you do that for me? I don't like looking at them niggas in the background. I don't like them. The shirt's off. I don't give a fuck about that MTV bullshit. I don't give a fuck about it. I don't like niggas on the wall in the background. I don't like it. I won't look at your video. I, I ain't gonna say I won't look at theirs. But an ordinary person, I won't. I understand them as part of their gimmick and shit. But I don't like I don't like men on the wall in the background. I don't like it. I won't look at your video. I, it's like... A vampire looking at the cross and shit. I go, I don't like it because I'm not gay. If I'm looking at pussy, I don't like no men around. I, that's just the way I am, dude. I don't like it. I got something against it. It's like, it's like, yes, you know I'm saying it's like Dracula when somebody pull out a cross of Dracula. Right, if I'm looking at pussy, I don't like no men in the background. I don't like no men in the picture. I just don't like it because I'm not gay. It's hard for me to look at a woman. Uh, and get aroused and everything when it's when there's a dick swinging next to her. I can't even want a picture or not. And I just asked for these two women on this goddamn fucking YouTube. Can you please take the that nigga shit on the in the background all oh, down? That's all I'm asking. I ain't asking for much. He got his shirt off or some shit. I don't play that MTV fucking shit. Cribs and shit. I don't play that. I don't like it. I don't like, man, I don't like that. I don't like the behavior. I don't like nothing about that swag. I can't fucking stand it. Because you take it down. That's all I'm asking. If not, then... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, well, it was nice knowing. It was nice trying. Shit, I could try. Sesame Street taught us that. If you grew up on Sesame Street, if you someone, I grew up on Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers and Rapper Room, an electric company. That's how I, and Zoom. That's how I grew up. I don't know about you, cause y'all kind of young then. So if you don't take the niggas down. At least I try. I can't fucking watch them. I'm trying to look at your face and then seeing niggas in the background. I don't like it, dude. I don't play that shit, dude. I don't play that. I ain't Roxanne Shot. I ain't I ain't Molly Maul. Fuck that. That's his shit. That's Molly Maul and Roxanne Chante. It's not me. I ain't Molly Maul. 
He played the fuck out. He done with that shit. I'm not. So take them niggas off the wall. And your YouTube video be alright. I mean, I like everything about it, especially the way you talk, all that shit. And what you, that word you would say, that one word right there. And these two, no, let me address these two YouTube bitches. Y'all don't need to know who they are. If they want me to let y'all know who they are, they will let me know. They want y'all to know who they are. But until then, I respect all women. And I'm addressing these two YouTube women, and you know who you are. Now listen to me. Listen to me good. It's one word that you used in your fucking shit when you did the card bullshit. The cards. It's one word that you use. Both of y'all could get in bed. And that's the and y'all know what I'm talking and that's the end of that. And I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. Just don't forget that. And that's the end of the bullshit. And fuck that bitch ass cruise shit bullshit. I don't give a fuck about no damn cruise shit. I don't give a fuck about it. Shirley Temple bullshit. On a good shit lollipop. It's Shirley Temple bullshit. I don't give a fuck about my show and tip of bullshit. Both of y'all can get in the fucking bed. And I don't give a fuck about that good shit lollipop bullshit. I don't give a fuck about it. Left in that, left in all that fucking bullshit. Yo, uh, wait. What's the time? Me and a good ship. I'm going to do it your version. How about that? I'm going to do it your version of shit. On the good ship, lollipop is a sweet trip. On the candy shop with bonbons playing. On the peppermint and peppermint. Da, 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 da. I don't give a fuck about that good shit, lollipop bush. I don't give a fuck about it. You awake with the tummy ache. Cuban, Spanish, Brazilians, all the fuckers. I don't give a fuck about all that. All got that Jesus motherfucker statue with his arms out. And stop acting stupid. All under that statue with the Jesus on top of a mountain. All under that. Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Jews, the fuck, all that fucking Guatemala shit under that motherfucker. So don't pop that shit in my damn face about your race. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Don't give a fuck about it. I'm from the street. I don't give a fuck. I'm a rat. That's right. We rats around here. I don't give a fuck about all that. Go to that Jesus Brazilian bullshit and I don't give a fuck about none of it. It's all under that motherfucker with his arms out and your government sitting back rich laughing while y'all waddling around in dirt, dust, and fe fucked up feathers nobody saw about colorful feathers and go ahead with that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that Guatemala bullshit. Give up the ass. It's all about the ass. That's it. And that ends that bullshit. Oh, God damn it. So, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, that's the last YouTube woman, right? That we got to address. Ain't no more. Let me see the paper. Ain't no more. Let me see. Yeah, I guess they're the last, that's the last YouTube woman we got to address here. What about this one? Oh, she stopped. She stopped signaling me. Yeah, she was a good one too. She was. She was. She was a good one. Yeah, she stopped. Who else we got here? Mm. 
What is that like four, five? How many we do? Four, five, three? Something like that. Oh well. Yeah, so if I didn't talk about you, that means I didn't get to your video. I ain't see your video. If you signaling me, you know, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not let me see. Who about about this girl right here? She stopped, right? She stopped. Yeah, she stopped. All right. If I didn't if you signaling me in your video and I didn't talk about you, that means I didn't see your video. Y'all got to show me your videos, guys. You got to send them to me or find a way that I see them. Because I only talked about the ones that signaling me. The rest of the ones I'm not. This one last year. I don't even see these bitches no more. I don't know what happened to their little ass. They just vanish. They just vanish, dude. So. And that's it, dude. I just, I fuck with people to signal me. And, um, I guess that's it. What have we learned from this discussion right here? We learned that nobody wants Michael Douglas. And that's sad. They want Negro, Michael Jordan. Bullshit, obviously. And that's sad. That's very sad. They want the Dark Tower. Bullshit. The Nigga Failure movie. Well, we talked about Joe Pesci and us yesterday. Um, Dark Tower failed because Stephen King a failure now. With Steven Spielberg. Both of them failures. And that's what they want rather than greed. See, YouTube trying to be... You, this YouTube. YouTube trying to be like this. This YouTube trying to be like this. Greed is good. Greed works. That's YouTube trying to be trying to get up there on that level. Douglas had his tongue operated on because he got venereal disease on his tongue from fucking all the white bitches in Hollywood. That's what happened to his ass. So you gonna be Douglas all you want, but your tongue your, your tongue gonna be fucked up because he had syphilis on his tongue. So that's Michael Douglas. That's Michael Douglas, dude. Fatal attraction guy in Hollywood fucking anybody. That's what happened to him. He got herpes on his tongue or some shit. He had, he got his tongue cut out or some shit. Some operated his mouth got operated on because he got a disease, it's venereal disease in his mouth from fucking with, kissing Hollywood women and shit on camera. And one of them bitches got his ass. That's Michael Douglas, dude. They got mouth venereal disease going around in Hollywood, right? So if you kiss somebody, your shit will get fucked up. It's something like that. That's what happened to him. He but a they but a well. In my opinion, now I'm a broadcaster. I know I, I know a lot of shit because that's my job. They better watch who they lock lips with in Hollywood, because if that's the case, and it's this new di venereal disease is not between your legs, it's in your mouth. They better watch the fuck out in and not only in Hollywood but everywhere. So, it's a venereal disease you get where they got cut out your cut part of your tongue out of your mouth or some shit. Because Michael Douglas had it. And, it came, and they said it came from him fucking with women in Hollywood. Remember when Michael Douglas was the big dick in Hollywood when Fatal Trey, he was the one women, what, yeah, he got it around that time period. And he got it in his mouth. And they say it because he was kissing. It came from kiss saliva. It's a new venereal disease. That they cut out your tongue or something. They got to cut part, half your tongue out your mouth. When you kiss somebody. And it's going around in Hollywood. Well, that's too fucking bad for Michael Douglas. Um, he said greed is works. But his tongue fucked up now. So. That's some nasty ass shit. But he was kissing a lot of women in a, on a film. He got it for making a movie. Kissing a woman on a screen. And he got contracted a disease, a mouth, a venereal, a Hollywood mouth venereal disease. He attracted that shit. And it's going around in Hollywood today. So these Hollywood celebrities kissing each other, and they just think you be, yup, they gonna be passing on that fucking shit, dude. It was some kind of new disease that they had to cut out his tongue or something. They cut out his whole tongue, something like that. <laughs> Michael Douglas, yeah. So, 
That's some that's that's some when you get fucking with white women kissing them on a the film, thinking you the man and shit. That's what you get, shit like that. Did Glenn Close get um checked? And that Coella fucking Deville or some shit? Did she get checked? Did she um? Oh, what's that? The Glenn Close and um, Fan Attraction, or whoever that was, Glenn Close, whoever. I don't know. I don't know if it came from that movie right there, but that started him off smug with that goofy smile. Think he could fuck all the Hollywood women, though. And that's what happened to his ass. He's, he got half his tongue chopped off because he got a venereal disease. And there's a venereal disease in the mouth thing that's going around. <coughs> and you can't kiss nobody in Hollywood. You got to be careful. And he got half his tongue chopped off. His, his gums got removed. Something got removed. It wasn't his teeth. It was half his gums then or some shit. That's some crazy ass shit, yeah. That's crazy there, man. Hmm. <laughs> talking about some greed is good. Greed is good. He got venereal disease in the same fucking mouth he talking that shit. Greed is good. He chopped off his tongue for that shit. Chop, 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 Wizard of Oz. Snip, 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 stop, stop, stop. In America, Hollywood eyes. We got all the money all around, but they cutting us all up. It's snip, 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 a no-nose job, a cheek job, cheekbone all. The doctor said we got to do more chopping. It is not something you know. Nothing that bullshit. There's not too many uh, celebrities signaling me and they fucking shit. It's not too many. No, nah, the white man got them. The white man got their ass. But the thing about it, the white man can't get these YouTube bitches. See, the YouTube bitches came when all the celebrity shit stopped. That's when all these YouTube women came. The white man can't do nothing about social media. He can't do shit about that. He can do something about Hollywood, though. He can't do nothing about no social media. Sure, he may try to come out with Hollywood movies and shit. Woody Allen pervert ass videotaping uh, Molly Cyrus. Now he moving on to Selena Gomez. He may do shit like that. Trying to discourage bitches, but I don't know. I don't know if he could. Just, I don't know if the white man discouraged no Indian bitch. There ain't no fucking way he could do that. No fucking way. Not even that bitch ass Khan can't do it. His Indian ass with a new movie that's gonna fail. That Khan, that Indian guy named Khan or some shit. He, he got a new movie coming. That's going to fail because he a dumbass. So that's going to fail. He's a dumbass. You know, he trying to support him. He said, get the fuck. He like he's somebody and shit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Your time is over. The old ass. Shut the fuck out. All these punk ass Indian motherfuckers. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Especially that Khan motherfucker, dude. Because he, this shit time over. Kangaroo scared of me. I don't deal with Indies because they punk ass. I don't deal with them. They, they do too bitch ass. I don't deal with them. And it's Khan, that fucking Indian guy shit gonna fail. He put the whole movie in his language and shit. His dumb ass. This fucking dumb motherfucker, dude. So what he trying to say? Only for my people? That's what you want to call them? Shit, what? What's left of them, what's the remainder of them, the government ain't chewing the fuck up. They Pac-Man, go to their country, they Pac-Man, they government Pac-Man, they them fucking ghosts. That's in their country. The fuck are you putting this movie in that language for? It's a waste of time. That kind of Indian guy, the, yeah, the Bollywood celebrity. He gonna, put, he gonna make a new movie and put it in his language. What are you trying to say, for my people? Shit. That's what you want to call that? Shit, man. Go ahead, but some... He got this guy. He's never been... That's why he's doing it. Because you know he ain't never going to be in no damn Hollywood. You know that shit? I was rooting for him to be in Hollywood. He going to come off being an asshole. Fuck that guy. 
this time is over anyway. Bollywood motherfucker. Stupid son of a bitch. Indian motherfucker. Think you come out being charged to eat better than somebody. Now he got a movie where he he fuck with some girl or shit. Stupid shit, man. Both of them fucking losers. Indian girl loses from birth. Indian man loses from the start. That's the end of that bullshit. Fuck him, dude. And fuck that Bollywood, bull, Tollywood bullshit, too. And fuck them indie films. Fuck them indie films. Fuck all that shit. I don't give a fuck about them. Don't look at me. And, and, and they wonder. None of them coming near me. All of them, all them fear me. Every fuck, all one of them fear me. Indie films. I ain't Richard Gere. Wondering from Hollywood going to indie films. Indie film. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's the step. That's the step down from um Sundance. Sundance, Dyke, Rainbow, Bright, Color, Flag, all that shit. I don't give a fuck about dude. All of it. They shit dying out. We we they they got a color rainbow bright flag. What's next? What? Where is it? Where is it, dude? Why is it just that? Why is it just what you do? Put it in a closet. That's what they did with it. Put it in a closet. What? Well, where is this rainbow flag at? Where? Where? Why is not like? Why are they not putting it in the meat in more mainstream? That black lives, that fucking black life shit got more attention than that. They shit land, well, black life shit over with because they smuggling bodies. We know that. We already got that. But I'm saying that that colorful rainbow bright flag shit went out of style longer than black lives. Black, at least black lives live for a good amount of time. This colorful rainbow bright flag shit. Where is it? Where's the rest of it? Where, where, what's going on today? When's the next parade? Every now and then they whipping it out, trying to you breathe, you just breathing somebody giving somebody CPR. Trump making fun of it on his stage. Trump made fun of it, and they put a swatcher sticker on it, trying to say you know. They just breathing. They just giving it CPR, trying to hype it. It looks like it's gonna die out in a little bit, in a few weeks or so. It does. I ain't gonna say a lot. It looks like it's gonna die out. It don't look like it's gonna be permanent. I think it was just for now. I think it was just for now. I do. I don't think it's permanent thing. Rainbow flags and shit. Rainbow bright. Colors. I hate colors. My rainbow bright cereal. Rainbow bright. It was just for now. With the shit dying out now. Oh well. That's what you get. For being so slick. That's for that's for transgenders, the gingerbread motherfucker people, the gingerbread people, transgingerbread gingers. They call them, we call them yeah we call them gingerbread people. They, they're the new race and shit. Gingerbreads. They was for gingerbreads. Oh, well. Gingerbreads don't give a fuck about that damn um, colorful fucking shit. They want to use the bathroom when they got to go shit or piss. That's it. They want to be able to go into a bathroom and use the bitch. They don't give a fuck about that rainbow bullshit. 
This this speaking on behalf of gingerbreads. The gin trans gingerbreads. They don't give them trans gingerbreads don't give a fuck about that shit. They just wanna go take a shit when they gotta take a shit. Stop acting stupid. And and rainbow colors ain't gonna do shit. Rainbow colors ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. It ain't do nothing for rainbow bright. My Little Ponies and anybody color. The only thing it do something for was for Rashi, because I got the colors around here. And I don't mean niggas even. I mean colors. I mean the fucking shit. And don't bring and and don't think colors can save gingerbread people because they don't give a fuck about it. They want to be able to. I gotta take a piss and walk right in somewhere and take a piss. And colorful rainbow flags ain't gonna do it. Though it's a good idea. It's a good idea. But it looks like it's fading. It looks like it's... Ain't nothing happening. Ain't not doing nothing. You got to keep up shit. You know, it's hard. It's hard. Because ain't no media no more. Ever since TV set got fucked up. Ain't no media no more. So it's, anything you come up with, you got to keep pounding and pounding. Because there's no more media. The TV set got whipped out of fucking our homes. And now they want money for TV now. So half the population only got t television. Don't they have it? So, it's hard to keep, to make something new and keep it fresh. It's very hard because there's no more media. No more right media anyway, you know. That's how I, we never knew about, um, we was talking about, um, what was we talking about? We said we never knew that. That was some old shit, um. That we never knew. Because there's no more media no more. We don't watch TV. There's no more TV. We like we could go outside and somebody say, hey, I'm throwing away a TV set. You want it? You know, it's no more. It's no such thing as that no more. So we ain't got television. I'm not going to spend my money on some shit that I got to pay every month. And not, I'm not going to get the TV with a converter box. I want none of that shit. Because I want local channels. I like local channels to... Ain't no more local channels no more. Everything is like cable TV. So I ain't got the shit. I ain't got the shit. I, I go to the internet and find out what's going on around the world. I ain't going about to buy that satellite bullshit, paying all that money every month. They getting rich off people. Uh, all that money they want, dude. All that fucking money, dude. But it's a way that you can get it on your computer now. YouTube got a station. We was contemplating it. I don't know. If we got, I don't know. I can't. I mean, I can. I just can't afford it at the same time. I, I'd rather do something else with my money, dude, than spend it on some damn TV. I shouldn't have to spend my money on no damn TV. TV's supposed to be free. You know? And I shouldn't even have to, nah, I don't know. My pride is too strong. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, I make my own fucking TV. I shouldn't have to spend my money on no damn television. Unless I'm buying the television itself. That's the only time I should spend money for a television. Now they charging, they actually charging motherfuckers for this shit. And people paying it. I don't believe that. I don't believe they doing that. Y'all actually paying for that shit. Fuck that. A Game of Thrones and all that shit. Uh, and at Showtime, it's on social media. And they're uploading some shows. And I appreciate them doing that. I'm just looking for somebody who understands that, you know, to do something for free is not a crime. It's okay if you put something up for free and expect nothing in return. It's okay. And today is, oh man, it just sucks. It just sucks, man. And I'm just stubborn. I'm not going to pay money for no damn TV set unless I, we, when we get a house, right, and we buy a plasma TV, then I'll say, okay, let's get, um, let's find out what options they have. Then I understand that. But on the road, like we on the road, I'm not going to pay for no tea. I'm not going to do it. I'm stubborn like that. I'm just not going to do it. That's a lot of money they have. They talking that you pay this amount. Man, it's all a gag. They going to jack that shit up, man. 
they gonna jack that shit up. You gonna be like, what bill is this? What kind of shit is this? You said seven dollars a month. This is fifty three dollars. Oh, you gotta add this. They all the stupid. Like, I mean, who you fucking? They fucking with me, dude. Now they fucking with me, dude. Like I'm a child. Treat me like I'm a child, and all these Hollywood celebrities don't give a fuck about me to begin with, dude. Nah, I ain't no sucker up on this planet. Dude, fuck them, fuck the movies, fuck the shows. But I would like to see Game of Thrones and see what that's about. Or, or what's that dead with a walking, whatever the fuck. I like to see what all that. It takes to Showtime. I get to see something, dude. Something. I get to see, because they on YouTube, I get to see something. For free and shit. You know what I mean? And, I say, and if I do get satellite tv with it showtime will be one of the stations we gonna get ain't no doubt about it i'm a showtime lover dude because they the only ones this well i don't know if the other um youtube like hbo um youtube upload and shit but showtime is showtime all right so i'm a I, you know i really appreciate that dude I really appreciate that's why I subscribe. It takes it takes a lot for me to subscribe to somebody. It does. Well not a lot, but it was just, you know. For me to subscribe to somebody, I just sometimes I just do it because I just do it. And sometimes I do it because you well, know, I'm interested in you know, you do it for different reasons. Showtime, okay with me, dude. I swear to God. At least they, I see somebody doing something for free. Got my attention. By the way, got my attention. Because that is so rare. That's so rare today. To see somebody doing something for free. It is so fucking rare today. And that's one of the first things that grabs my attention, dude. If somebody do something for free. It grabs my attention. And I'm, I appreciate Showtime when we really think about it. It's, well, it is it is for free, though. The internet, you know. It, but internet, you come for free with the computer. You just got to bust your balls to get on it. When you get these other things like hot spots and all, they just, that's just an easy access. That's all you're paying for. Yeah, Hollywood celebrities don't signal me that much anymore. But um YouTubers do. YouTuber um women do. And if I didn't talk about just because I ain't seen your your shit. That's some crazy but that Jewish woman, that's some crazy shit there. I come off being nice all to her and shit. And she come off with some crazy what the fuck are y'all that's the last thing I expect her to talk about the Whew, that girl on cloud fucking nine there. Yeah, that's that's some crazy ass shit there. Yeah. I'm afraid to see what her, her house looks like. She probably got a fucking nuclear nuclear fucking what's these things those things you go in just in case of nuclear war. She probably build one of them. She on some crazy hype there. Yeah, I don't understand, huh? Oh no, she didn't do that. And she wrong anyway at that. I don't understand it. I really don't get it. But let me get out of here because it's going on 530, y'all. And I want to upload this. I talk for a very long time. But I try to keep us entertained, man. And tomorrow Saturday. I might have a show tomorrow. I don't know. I got some animation. It should be finished, guys. But I'm caught up with shit. And I can't quite get it done right now. And I got a pot pie in the oven. Because I got to eat a pot pie and shit. Cause, uh, I like pot pies, man. I just like it. Not the chicken. The, the pot pie, dude. The best chicken pot pie. I like that. So I got that in the oven. I'm going to eat my pot pie and drink my Pepsi. And um, download this shit. And, and don't forget what we talked about, guys. Because... I like you women. 
I want to get to know you women, but y'all got to be real with me, you know. Don't fuck, don't, you fucking around. Can't you see I'm, I'm, I'm straight to the point. I'm, I'm Captain fucking motherfucker Kirk motherfucker. I'm going places here. And I don't need nobody doing shit for me. I don't want nobody to do shit for me. Because they do shit for me. Later on they're going to come holding out their hand. Like little man from the draft board with Daffy Duck. And I ain't trying to look. I ain't, I ain't going through that cartoon with not a one motherfucker do. Not one. Ain't no little man from the draft board coming after me like Daffy Duck do. That's y'all motherfuckers. That's not me. That's Hollywood celebrities going through that. I'm not I'm not little man from the draft board. I'm not Daffy Duck, dude. So ain't no motherfuckers I ain't going in that cartoon later on in my life. And y'all gotta understand that. I'm not the motherfucker from the draft board bullshit. I'm not. Y'all go through shit like that, not me. I'm not gonna do it. So, little man from the draft board. I ain't Daffy fucking duck, dude. I'm. Oh, God damn it, man. That's how I want nobody fucking help. I, I'm okay on my own. I'm alright. I'm alright, dude. And I want these women to realize that that's why I'm serious. They come off signaling me, acting like they want to get on top of me, and then they act as simple. I don't know, you know. And this and this other bitch, she knows she is. I dress. She's the first one I address. Like I said, that's some unfair shit to say something like that. You got nothing but kids for your subscribers, dude. You know, Rashi is for adults. You got children for subscribers who look at your damn shit. And that's unfair what you did. That's unfair. That's not fair. Saying, who are these kids? Well, man, fuck these kids. These kids here, dude. If they, if they ain't learning from me, then I feel sorry for them. That's on a personal note. That's on a personal fucking note. Because the only thing they see from me is every now and then I'm raunchy with the sex thing. And, but I got a lot of profanity coming out my mouth. They the only thing. That's my only quirks, dude. Other than that, I'm keeping it real. And, um. I take that back if kids ain't learning from me. I, I didn't mean it that way, but I'm just saying, dude. And I, and I don't give a fuck about no kids and all, but. Dude, I don't give a fuck about nobody. I just don't. Y'all know little girls all around this motherfucker here. We little girls rule this shit. They rule this shit. So ain't like I don't like no kids. And just far be it, but you know. But I'm saying all that 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 shit that people look at her videos. These smart mouth motherfuckers. They ain't around my shit. If they are, they trolling. Bunch of trolls. I ain't worry about them. So, it's not fair what she did. Like, I give a fuck what they comment about. I don't give a fuck about what they comment about. They got half of them ain't even the motherfuckers. You really think... I was about to say something about the motherfuckers, dude. That's all. I ain't even gonna... I ain't even gonna say nothing, dude. I ain't even gonna... <coughs> I ain't even gonna say nothing, dude. Y'all scared of they ass. I don't know why. Y'all scared of they ass. I'm right with them and shit. I got a big mouth just to fuck like them, dude. No doubt about that. Y'all scared of they ass. So don't, don't put, you know. That's unfair shit what you did. That's some unfair bullshit. You know, damn well, them fuckers ain't gonna say my damn name. Play fair game. Won't you do that? Play fair game. You playing games. That's what you're about. You're about. You would. You came from a love. You the. I can see you the baby of the bunch. I can see that. You the straight baby of the bunch of your family. You the baby. You got to be the baby. 
I could tell. I had a younger brother. I could tell. I know a baby when I see it. A baby of the bunch when I see it. <laughs> that happy birthday shit, a bitch wanted to bust out crying. Ain't no doubt about it. She was not happy. Ain't no fuck away. She was happy, dude. That's happy. Then sad must look like Calibus on Clash of the Titans. And that's all I got to say about that. And that's the original class, not that bo remake bullshit. So, fake expressions. Guys, let me get the fuck out of here. Stay close to RVT for more Rashi uh, Entertainment on my Google page. I might be back tomorrow with another one of these fucking things, whatever it is. And guys, peace out and take care of yourself. And don't forget what we talked about. All right? Rashid for the greater good. See ya.